Awesome. Uh, welcome uh, to those of uh, you who are attending for the first time. Uh, and uh, welcome back to uh, everyone else. For those of you attending for the first time, I'm uh, Roger Killen. I'm uh, the interviewer and host. And this event is, this webinar is uh, all about uh, informing uh, speakers who have important messages that fabulous speaking skills are not enough if you want to get your important message out there into the world in a big way with huge reach and huge impact. There's other things you at a minimum need to be aware of and ideally master some new skills. The purpose of this two-day webinar is to expose you to many of those skills uh, and then you can uh, pick and choose uh, to see what uh, works for you, resonates with you, and, and, um, uh, and aligns with your aptitudes. We have had uh, one, two, three, four speakers thus far. Jordan is up next, followed by Charmaine Hammond, and then tomorrow we have another uh, five experts for a total of 11. But first, Jordan, you'd like to know a little bit about her, I'm certain. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay, everyone is seeing your first slide. So, here we go. Um, Jordan is from the banking industry. Uh, she's also been heavily involved in marketing and media and comes with a diverse background of helping clients in many unique ways. She's the ultimate strategist when it comes to getting your message in front of your ideal clients. And she takes most of the technical side of Facebook ads and simplifies the process of get, getting a healthy ROI by applying effective strategies that have been created by a Facebook ad expert whose name is Tammy Lane. If I'm not incorrect, both Tammy and Jordan live in Kelowna? Kamloops. In Kamloops, Kamloops, British Columbia. Yes. I imagine your 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 blue skies are pretty foggy right now. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's been very interesting. I will say that. <laughs> I'm sure it has. Yeah. With experience in helping coaches, speakers, experts, and advisors, Jordan has the tools to help you make an impact and create the business you have always dreamed of. When she isn't helping her clients find their profit sweet spots, she spends time with her three-year-old daughter and a pug called Oscar. Yes. My fellow attendees, let's put our hands together and give a digital welcome for Jordan Johnson. Awesome, Roger, thank you so much. Take it away, Jordan. Now, let me, uh, let me start with a first question. Great. Boss us around and tell us how, we, how you'd like to handle questions. Would you like to yeah. handle them as you go at the end? Um, if it's okay with everyone, I'm going to do questions just at the end. I'll get my flow going and then I will answer all of the questions that you have. Lovely. Okay. Perfect. My next question is, tell, uh, tell your audience why Facebook ads are important to them in their life and times as speakers with important messages. Yes, that's a great question, Roger. Well, we all know that marketing itself can be quite daunting and uh, there's a, quite a few ways that you can bring in clients. Three main ones would be networking, which we know can be quite time consuming. Uh, it's very important to be more of an extrovert if that's something that you're going to get involved with. Um, obviously, there's free marketing, which would, I would say would be like evergreen content. So you want to get really creative, um, use your social platforms uh, very wisely. You want to create some content that you can spread out through different channels. Uh, being conscious of different audiences that are on each channel. So, you know, people that are on Instagram, people that are on Facebook, um, LinkedIn, and how to best use those tools. So you've really got to get yourself comfortable and familiar with how that works. And uh, there, uh, oops, sorry. And uh, the other one would be like paid marketing. So you can do different types of paid advertising you can do Facebook ads you can do ads on LinkedIn you can do snapchat there's a variety of different things including obviously Google AdWords which everyone might be familiar with so there's a lot of great tools that you can use to market your business um, but the problem is is that uh, not everyone knows how to use those 
And so uh, again, you, like I said, you have to have time if you're going to be doing content marketing. Uh, it is a long-term investment through that process. And uh, the, the paid advertising can be very fantastic. The problem is, is you really need to get familiar with how to use that tool. So if you're doing paid advertising, um, such as Facebook, the reason why we love it so much is because that it's low risk. You can allow for specific targeting and you can allow to start with small budgets. So I'm not uh, familiar with all of the other paid advertising programs, but what I am familiar with throughout my challenges using them is they don't all have the same targeting techniques. And so that's what really makes Facebook advertising um, very effective. And the fact that you can have a flexible budget, I think is really important. So there's about 1.5 billion active users who log into Facebook every day. So how does one stand out in such a busy place? Um, that's a question that we get all the time. Well, how do I compete in such a busy market? Uh, it's, that's a great question. And that's some of the things that we focused on when we came up with our strategies and processes throughout uh, Tammy's program. And so um, Roger did mention that I do work with Tammy Lane quite closely. So she is a Facebook ad expert and I will get uh, into a bit more about her as we roll this conversation out or this interview out. And so one thing that I would like to uh, mention is I was recently just doing some research actually prior to this interview and there's about 42% of marketers that claim Facebook is critical importance of, to their business and of their marketing strategy. And so I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about how we do our processes and how you can stand out in a, in a busy crowd. So, so Sandy, before you get to your training post, uh, your training piece, uh, uh, tell us uh, how you and or Tammy acquired your expertise that you're now going to share with us. What's the history? What's the backstory? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and so previously, again, just like you mentioned before, before I got into Facebook advertising and working with Tammy, I did have some background in marketing and media. And so I was working for a local marketing agency and, uh, and actually sorry, prior to the marketing agency, I was working for a local newspaper, which uh, in 2016, I, can, I guess you can imagine how challenging it can be to sell newspaper ads. And so uh, with that, I was offered the opportunity to launch online marketing services for the newspaper. That gave me the, ex the ability to uh, expose myself to Facebook marketing, marketing strategies. And throughout that process, I had helped several local and, on, uh, local and I guess online business owners try to market their business. And so throughout that, uh, I had moved over to the agency, as I just mentioned. Uh, at the agency, it was a fantastic experience, and I was very successful. I brought in over $70,000 in new revenue in just under three months. So uh, part of that was all about educating the community and uh, teaching them some of the processes and strategies that they can use using all the different mediums. The problem was, is that a lot of the clients that we had to retain them using agency services was quite expensive and could fit in every brick and mortar's budget. And so I needed to come up with some sort of better strategy that would be more affordable for a lot of these local business owners. So throughout that experience, I was uh, approached by Tammy and she had uh, created two very successful businesses, one that she took to $3 million in six months just all by using Facebook ads. So it was quite, uh, quite an effective tool for her at the time. She came from a background of content marketing where she used to write thousands of blog posts. She posts every single day on Facebook and whatever she was doing uh, was working, but not nearly as fast as what she was doing when she started using Facebook ads. So she said, you know what, I'm going to, she actually was given a, a email credit from Facebook saying, hey, we're changing up some new things. We've added some banners. We would love for you to uh, take a look at some of the new stuff. So they gave her a credit. And she had hummed and hawed a little bit about whether or not she would use this credit because why would she pay for, for Facebook advertising if she's a content marketer? Her whole, her whole business at the time was to teach people how to do content. And so for her to go in and pay for Facebook advertising, it wouldn't really be necessarily the most effective strategy for her to teach her people. And so uh, basically what she took, she basically took the credit, took advantage of it, curated a, a process, a simple process on testing out her ads to find her winning ad, took that winning ad, 
effectively marketed it, scaled her business by increasing the revenue she was making, and then continued to roll out that process with her winning ad, which in turn, she got on her first first set of ads that she ran, she gained 300 new leads in just one set of ads. And so as soon as she created that winning ad, she basically reached her market, used the targeting systems that Facebook gave her and, uh, and grew her audience triple, triple compared to what she was doing with content marketing. And so it was quite effective. And so I'm going to uh, click through some of these because I know I've been talking and not clicking through my slides. And so to answer your question, that's where some of the history came from us. Um, we basically, I mean, not only did Tammy come up with an incredible process for Facebook ads, what I thought I knew about Facebook ads was completely so I had done some freelancing work where clients were giving me um, the opportunity to market some of their retreats and their businesses. And I thought that I was doing a great job, but I wasn't bringing in clients uh, the way I should have been. And I was burning through budgets and people weren't growing their businesses. So what I thought I knew about ads manager and the simple, simple processes that Facebook has really uh, was not right at all until I met Tammy and was introduced to her program, Facebook Faucet, which is what I will uh, share with you guys in my uh, training next. Great. Great. So just you've segued beautifully into your training. Off you go. Awesome. So that's me trying to figure out uh, how to do Facebook ads effectively. And uh, it, like I said, it wasn't going well. I was burning through budgets and it wasn't very effective. So I met uh, Tammy Lane. She had invited me for coffee and said, hey, you know, I've heard a little bit about your experience locally and I want to meet you. I'm actually looking uh, to bring someone in sales and marketing on board. So I took that uh, date with her and we chatted. And we, I, I had uncovered things about entrepreneurship and having your own business that I had never heard of. And uh, the strategies in the program that she had shown me were incredible. Like I couldn't believe that all I needed to do was go through a simple testing process. And that would give me uh, my winning ad for my clients. And in turn, I could scale that and grow a successful uh, lead generation system for them. And so... One thing that uh, Tammy does not do is play the lottery. In the nine years of running Facebook ads and creating this process, she's never put up a single ad and hoped that it would do good. So one thing that I want to make sure at the end of this training is that you do, you go, you take away with the fact that if you decide to do Facebook ads and marketing your speaking business or getting your name, getting your brand out there, you won't play the lottery with Facebook ads. And so that leads me into our five-step system. And this is where I'm going to show you guys the five-step system that we use to create our winning ad. So this process has actually ranked us top 1% of all ads that are running on Facebook. So we've had some really great success, of course. Uh, like I said, Tammy has brought a business to $3 million in six months, effectively using her strategy. And so what are, what are the five steps to creating your golden ads? So the first one is only your ideal clients. So this is very powerful. The targeting tools that Facebook gives you, gives you the ability to pick your audience, pick your clients and find exactly who you want to see your ads. It's kind of like speaking. So if you could put all your ideal clients in one room, talk to them and tell them, Hey guys, I have exactly what you need. Wouldn't we all want to do that? And so using the tools that Facebook has to offer you, you can target your ideal clients using the, the targeting tools. The other step is finding ads that connect. And so there's a couple of pieces or moving parts to this. Finding ads that connect and creating an emotional connection for your clients or people that you want to resonate with. Part of that starts with a scroll stopping image. So we teach our people to find very effective images that are scroll stopping so that people, when they see your ad, connect with it right away. So, you know, it's important that you have images of maybe yourself or people so that you can really blend in with the newsfeed. And when someone sees your ad, they'll stop and say, oh, who is this? And they'll want to click to learn more. So here's a couple of examples of the Facebook images that we've used that have been very effective for us. I think it's important to have colorful images. It's important to 
your face and it's important to have uh, a little bit of text but not so much that you're taking away from the power of the image. Another thing that's really important is having copy. We've actually never in all of the years of uh, Facebook advertising, Tammy's never hired a copywriter. Copy comes from the heart and proven copywriting gets the click every time. So you wanna make sure that the copy that you're including in your ads is going to be engaging, it's going to connect with the reader and it's going to make people want more and take it to the next step to learn more about you. So the third thing that's really important is insider ad secrets. I'm going to share three that are really powerful that I think are good takeaways for you guys. Ads manager. So very intimidating when you first see it, but ads manager is literally a online form that you're basically built into Facebook, that you're basically telling Facebook exactly what you want them to do with all of your information. So the next time you take a look at it, I don't want you to feel so intimidated. I want you to know that it's just a form that you're going to instruct them on what to do. The second important thing is pixels. So you have the ability to install a small piece of tracking code onto your website in certain pages throughout your website and actually have Facebook track where your client went or where your ideal client went, I should say, and how to bring them back. So once they have visited your site, the pixel will actually track them and serve, their, serve your ads in front of them the next time they're using Facebook. So obviously you can tell that's quite powerful and if installed and used correctly, these can be very effective. The other takeaway are lookalike audiences. So you can actually, if you have people who are already interested in engaging with your ads, you can actually mirror that audience and find more people exactly like those people already interested in you. So obviously the tools here can be quite powerful and we have a lot of insider secrets that we like to share with our clients. These are three that I think are really important that you could take off just off the top and start uh, implementing right away. So the fourth one is taking all of those tools that I've shared with you and finding your winning ad. So one thing that we wanna make sure is that we have a scroll stopping ad. So not just an image, but an ad that connects with people right off the bat something that they can lean in and say, oh my goodness, who is that? Or what is that? Or what are they talking about? You want to create that uh, teaser right off the bat and then make sure that when they click on your ad, that you're going to tell them exactly what they need to convert them. And so the fourth tool would be leveraging Facebook systems to scale your success. So Facebook actually has tools, and after you've collected this data, it's basically like gold. You can take the tools, take the data, and basically skyrocket your profits. The last one is ramp up your revenue. So once you've found your winning ad, you've got your data, now you can ramp up your revenue by scaling your ads. And you can actually increase who, you see, who sees them, add, invest in a little bit more, and add to where your ads are going to be shown. So all of that comes in the process that we're going to teach you in our Facebook Faucet program. So obviously ramping up your revenue from low to high can be very effective. And so one thing that I actually just wanna piggyback on is when we talked a little bit about starting with small budgets at the very beginning of this, this interview, we totally recommend starting with a minimum of five to $10 just throughout the testing process. So five to $10 a day is literally all you need to start finding what your winning ad's going to look like. So again, each week, if you see success, you're gonna take that winning ad and start scaling it. And you're gonna grow and you're gonna invest and then and essentially the goal is to get the return. And we're not talking about a lottery here, we're talking about having a good investment. And so like I said from the beginning, that's not something that we ever encourage to do. We never want you to put up a single ad and hope that this is a win, because it's probably not. So those are the general five-step systems that we use uh, just to create your winning ad. So that's really the foundations of finding your ad. Uh, and we will uh, basically take that information and help you grow and help you figure out how you can get your winning ad. So one thing that's uh, important to rem remember is there, this isn't a secret. There's no secret formula or message or anything that we use. The secret is connect with your people right from the get-go. Running Facebook ads is the easiest and simplest way to find people fast. And what you can do is come up with a really great message about who you are, how you help people, and connect. It's all about just being genuine, personable, and sharing with the world who you are and the leader that you are.
And so we are all about getting clients and not clicks. So design your ads to attract paying clients right from the get-go. So using simple systems like what we've shown you and applying those in your strategy. So one thing that I want to note is storytelling is very powerful. You need to make sure that you can come up with a great way to tell a story. And it sounds really easy by just saying, okay, well, I can tell a story about myself. But really, there's a lot, there's a lot of pieces to that. You need to cre be creative. You need to have a brand, an emotional connection, and you need to share that with the world. And so having a unique system that works, a unique marketing system that attracts, qualifies, and converts your best clients just for you. So you're probably wondering who Facebook ads work for. So uh, there's a variety of different people that can, not even people, but businesses and experts that can take advantage of using the system. So if you're a coach, a consultant, obviously speakers, you're trying to get your message and your name out there, you're trying to attract clients or grow your audience. If you wanna grow your brand, there's a lot of different effective ways that you can use Facebook ads in your business. And so some of the programs that we've used effectively with Facebook ads are our Facebook faucet program, which I will share a little bit more about as I go here. Our online course typically runs for $19.97. So we will bring clients into, into us using an ad. Then we will convert them into a webinar where they will learn a little bit more about us. And then typically if they don't go into this online course, we also have other programs that range from 497 to 42,000. And if we're getting a client that's, or sharing with our client private mentoring, then we typically will wanna get on the phone. So you can literally run ads just to you into a strategy session where you can just get on the phone with your clients and work your magic. So here's an example of a recent bake statement from one of our programs that we have. Uh, so basically the program that we were selling our Facebook faucet at 1997, this is what it looked like over a 10 day period uh, of the generation that we've got brought in with our clients. And so just from selling 1997 program, 1997 dollar program, this is what it looks like for us. And so really you could get creative if it's just bringing lead generation in for your mailing list, if it's uh, for your Facebook or sorry, if it's for your um, Facebook group, if it's for your business, whatever it is, you can really get creative with using Facebook. So the last thing that I want to leave with you guys, which is really important is the beginner tags. So I bet that many of you have used the golden button that's just in the bottom right corner. It's shiny blue and it says, boost post. This is one big takeaway that I want to share with you guys that I don't want you to do anymore. This is what we call the beginner tax. The problem with boosting posts is that you don't get the same ability to target the audience as if you were to just put it through ads manager and create an ad. So what happens is whatever you say that you want to invest in, Facebook will say, oh, well, just for a couple of dollars here, you can boost your post. The problem is you can't choose where that, who, where that, that post is going to be boosted. So it's not an effective way to use uh, advertising. So we just want to make sure that next time you're going to go try and use that boost post, that you consider that you can't be selective on who's going to see that. So it may not be an effective use of your dollars. Still with me, guys? Cool. Yes. Awesome. So the the next piece is uh, is Facebook Faucet Bootcamp. So that is exactly what. Uh, and sorry, I'm jumping the gun, Roger. I know your next question is going to ask me what sort of programs uh, people can use to take advantage of this. Uh, well, yes, it is. Okay. Um, uh, I don't. Are you, are you open to a question? Absolutely. Let me just pop back to my chat box, unless you're going to ask me. Why do Facebook ads have a pretty, not very amazing reputation? What are, what are the common things people do to really shoot themselves in the Facebook ad foot? That's a great question, Roger. Um, and I get asked that a lot because people can get very intimidated by it. So back to when I was talking a little bit, a bit about my training, usually it's ads manager. That's a huge one. People don't have a clue how to um, you, be savvy, I, if you will, with Ads Manager. Um, the form can be very intimidating and people might not know how to target or what even to select for the targeting process. So the value of taking our training is we actually show you exactly how to find your people. So not only just select your audience, but we'll teach you how to find your audience. 
we will help you simplify that, put that into your ads manager process while you're creating your ad and then follow our, our process to actually find your winning ad. So I think that the biggest struggle for people is the process. Uh, a lot of us think that we can hop into ads manager, select a few things, run our ad and hope for the best. And it's the game of playing the lottery. Like I said, it's just not effective. And I think people get intimidated because uh, actually, a common question is, well, what about the Facebook updates that happened? Well, the face the only thing that happened with the updates with Facebook is that basically Zuckerberg said, you know what? I'm not going to let people use Facebook for free anymore. So if you want to get your business or your or your profile out there and profile, I should say business profile. So if you've created a business account on Facebook and you have a business page and you're trying to promote yourself, well, you're just going to have to pay for that. And so what Zuckerberg did was basically open up the floor for people to get in front of audiences, take the targeting tools, and you just have to pay for that positioning. So it's very similar to traditional, traditional media or traditional advertising. If you want a hot spot in the newspaper, well, you're going to have to invest in that spot, if, if that makes any sense. And so those are pretty common struggles that I think, and I think the intimidation factor behind using Facebook ads is, uh, is really challenging for people. Did I answer that okay? Uh, yeah, if I can repeat what I think I heard. Sure. Uh, people, um, uh, people are intim intimidated by what they perceive to be complex. Yes. Uh, which is the, um, sorry, I can't remember its name. Uh, and so, so they go to running an ad, it's not tested, and uh, they think they're doing themselves a favor by boosting it, which mm -hmm. is just pouring good money after bad. Absolutely. And so they have a sense that Facebook ads don't work. The Absolutely. problem is that they're just not working them right. Well, and that's the thing, and not everyone thinks to have a strategy for Facebook ads. Like, why would you? Why can't you just pick a photo, type in some text, and away you go? Well, unfortunately, with marketing, you need to get creative. And so getting creative um, is teaching our people how to connect with one another. And so that's what you learn throughout our Facebook Faucet program is that uh, there's more than just, it's more than just running an ad and putting a message out there. Uh, it's, it's about coming up with a strategy to connect with people. And so you're going to need to get creative with your copy. Uh, even image sourcing is actually a challenge on its own. A lot of people don't know the emotional connection or the power that an image can have. And so part of our training is to find a scroll stopping image that can accompany your text and your message throughout your ad. So those are all really important pieces that I think are neglected when people just try to run Facebook ads without having a strategy or a process. Okay, thank you. You're so welcome. That's a great question. Um, and so obviously using our Facebook faucet program, Tammy had found great success and she was able to generate $3 million in six months, which is why she thought, well, I have a viable business here. I'm going to share it with the world. And so we're taking our process and we're sharing that with the world. And so our biggest goal is we want people to stop working so hard. We realize that coming up with content and, and writing blog posts and trying to get creative all the time can be very um, frustrating and people want results now or they want leads now. And so the best way that we've discovered is by running Facebook ads and getting in front of the exact people to make that process easier. We realize that it can be very time consuming trying to come up with all this evergreen content and trying to manage it on all the different social media platforms. Being part of our program, you get the ability to utilize Tammy's nine years of experience. Uh, and so previously to that, if you missed it, I was just saying we actually share the same system that we use that our team uses to create our ads and the, and the, the process that we use to create many of our clients' ads. And so, so that's where I'm at. And so what uh, the power of, of using a system obviously can help you uh, maximize your marketing experience. And we think that using Facebook ads is a very simple and effective approach, approach. And using Tammy's strategy that she's came up, she simplified the process for you guys. And so that's what the, uh, the benefit and the value is of working with a team like us who are experts in this field. And so that kind of sums it up for my training. Um, and yeah, so that's where I'm at. Do you have an irresistible offer for, uh, for uh, your and Tammy's training? 
I do. I, we actually have an offer just for you. Uh, and so I will share that next here. So what do you get? Uh, that's, this is basically what we've come up with. So uh, typically what happens is we have a launch that we do three times a year, but we decided to um, join you throughout this weekend and we wanted to come up with a custom offer for your people. And so what we've come up with is our Facebook Faucet Bootcamp, which typically is 1,997. We are going to include it as well as one month of our ad acceleration to support your people throughout their training to get Facebook ads up and running for them. Plus, we're going to bonus a one-on-one -on -one strategy session. So the total value would be one would be nine hundred ninety-seven dollars. All of that uh, we are going to give to your people if they're interested. So you're you're going to give our my people three thousand four hundred ninety-one dollars worth of stuff for free. For no, <laughs> sorry, for nine hundred ninety-seven dollars. That's what we're going to give your people. You've you've got you've got three line items here, and there's free against them all. Yes, I I see that now. Uh, but the total webinar special is is the pink one at the bottom, and that's what the uh, total cost would be. The total cost for the for for the three of them. Yes. Okay. So 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 they're actually. They're actually not free. They're 997 for the three. Yes, I realized I made an error on that slide, and so I'm very sorry. Uh, but the values of each item are there. They aren't all free. The total would be $997. What you're getting for free is the one-on-one -on -one strategy session, the one month of ad acceleration by purchasing the Facebook Faucet Bootcamp, which are the foundations and the process and strategy that we use to find our winning ad. Okay, got it. Lovely. Which was the which was the weekend I spent with you? Yeah, that's a great question. So that's as I said, as I mentioned, we have even an event three times a year. Sorry, we have a basically a process, a launch that we do three times a year, where typically we would do this, and then this would actually uh, we would invite people to our live event. The live event is not until November. Obviously, anyone who is in this program is welcome to attend. And if you actually purchase the program, you get a free ticket to our live event in November, where you'll be with Tiny Lane herself and our team to get your ads live up and running in Vancouver. Uh, that was uh, that was a fabulous three days. I'm uh, glad you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, well, I, I, I went with Rod, Rod Jens, and I know he got, uh, and, and he's an internet marketer, and, and he was blown away. Uh, so, wow, that's great. So if, if, if somebody, on, uh, somebody on the webinar buys this package for nine ninety seven, dollars yeah. they get invited to that three-day launch in November. Yes, at no additional cost. Wow, that, that three-day launch in November is worth this and then some. Yeah, and so actually, Roger, I would love to ask you one quick question. What would you say was your favorite um, part of that training while you were there? Oh, uh, very good. <laughs> being, the sim being the simple soul I am, uh, I was just flabbergasted at the simplicity of how you targeted my ideal audience. That's fantastic. I just thought that was poetry in motion. It was elegance personified. I love it. Love it. Thank you. So yeah, that, that is what we've come up with with your people. And we think it's in a very effective program. Uh, we, again, we do this three times a year and we've been doing this for quite a few years now. And every time we jump on and do this and we teach our people, it's fantastic. The, it's very empowering. Actually, one thing that was my favorite at the event was uh, the day that we ran all of our, or got our ads live and we were able to bring in, I think the total number, and this was on the second day, there was 14,665 leads, new leads amongst all of the people that were there 24 hours after they got the ads live. Do you remember that? I do. That was pretty powerful. So I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure your current audience gets the backstory to what mm -hmm. you're saying. Right, so, right. So why, why don't, why don't I explain it in my words? Yeah, I would love that. So over this weekend, there were, what, 30 people in the audience? 30 students? Uh, 34, to be 34. exact. 34. And uh, each one of us uh, uh, was required to write and place an ad. And, 
many of us did so uh, being dragged kicking and screaming through a thorn thorn hedge uh, uh, and we did that on day one and then by day three uh, we all measured the impact of the ads we had placed and they produced these uh, blow your mind away results what what were they again Jordan so yeah, within 24 hours in total, we had 14,665 new leads generated for all of our people. So 14,000 and uh, divide by 30, roughly that's, uh, that's, th that's uh, 14,000 divided by 30. Math is not my strong suit. That's 400-ish, 450. Yeah. So each, we had an average of 450 responses to yeah. our ads. Uh, that we had concocted 24 hour, concocted and launched 24 hours earlier. It was just mind boggling. Yeah, it was pretty powerful, I would say. And having the talent of, of our copyright support there, we, our team is just incredible when it comes to coming up with and being creative with helping people get their uh, message across. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. So Jordan, let's uh, segue into the questions now. Mm -hmm. I would love that. So I'm going to pop up in the chat box here and just hopefully get caught up with everyone. Now um, the, the questions aren't in the chat box. The questions are in the Q and A and I don't think you can see the Q and A box. So I repeat the questions to you and then okay. you answer them. Perfect. Uh, iterative movement class. Okay. I'm coming to them. Lauren said, explain why not to you explain again, why not to, uh, boast post uh, why not to boost posts uh great question lawrence so the problem with boosting posts is you don't have the same ability to target the audience when you click the boost button it actually doesn't let you select your audience as specific as it does if you were to create an ad in ads manager so you're limited to the audience you may not be using the dollars that you're investing in that boost effectively and so you could be missing uh, a lot of audience or it could just not be an effective ad for you at all Peter asks a question, are there tools that, like Hootsuite, will conduct social media advertising on multiple platforms at the same time? Unfortunately, no, not at this point that I'm aware of because the problem is, is each individual platform uh, has its own um, basically advertising platform within it. So as an example for Facebook, there's ads manager and Saran, that totally wasn't correct because if you're trying to get on Instagram as well, Facebook and Instagram advertising are integrated on, on uh, ads manager. So while you're creating your ad at the process of doing that, you're actually able to choose if you want it to be seen on Instagram or not. And so, uh, for Instagram and Facebook, yes, unfortunately I'm unaware of anything, um, such as Hootsuite that can be used for paid advertising. Um, content, free content, absolutely, but not for paid advertising that I know of. And um, that was the last question. So uh, audience, I invite um, uh, uh, more questions while we have time. Uh, it is now uh, at 2.56 and uh, Jordan's time is up in, in uh, 19 minutes. So we have a little bit more time with her. Um, is it okay if I answer the next question? I can see in the Q&A there. You can? You can see the Q&A box? I can. All right, far away. Awesome. So Terry uh, asked a great question. I already answered Peter. Um, but Terry asked a good question. What is the minimum budget I would use on FB ads, Facebook ads, to test whether or not my social media is effective and what, what effective looks like? Uh, okay, so great question, and I did touch on this a little bit in my training, but uh, the minimum budget that we require to you or suggest, I should say, for you to use throughout the testing process is five to ten dollars a day. And so typically we, we test uh, various different components. So there's usually a total of nine ads that are tested. And uh, each day we would use about five to ten dollars throughout that testing process. And so let me just uh, make sure I answered that fully. Um, FB ads to test whether or not my social media is effective and what would effective look like. Um, so social media effectiveness is a little bit different than Facebook ad effectiveness. Um, if you are doing 
posting on social media and have a marketing strategy in place, that's how I would scale whether or not my social media is effective. If we're going to compare uh, social media marketing, and I'm, I hope I'm answering this correctly, if we're going to compare social media marketing, such as free content marketing versus social media paid marketing, those scale completely different. So you're going to want to make sure you have two different strategies in place. Jordan, uh, could you uh, uh, could we see you in person, and um, could you let us know what your contact information is, or or may, maybe maybe give us a slide with your with your coordinates? Yes, um, I'm looking for that slide, and I'm wondering why it's not there. Uh, there was another question. Do you want me to answer that, Roger? Yeah, yeah please, far away. Um, Terry says, is it a person or it is a person? I want to know if my social media person is effective. Well, that's a great question. You know what, Terry, I actually um, would love to welcome you to email me and I'm happy to jump on a one-on-one -on -one strategy session uh, for you as well. Um, so what, basically to answer that, I think it would be best to have a conversation. So how you can reach me, and I'm wondering why my slide's not here and I'm so sorry about that. I'm going to put in the chat box my contact information for you guys. Uh, and then I'm going to answer this last question and then I'll let you wrap up, Roger. Okay. Your, and, con your contact information is at the bottom of the current slide. Jordan yeah. at fbfaucet.com. It is. I was going to give you a bit more. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Far away. Do that. So I'll put the additional stuff in the chat box for you. But basically, if you want to reach me by email, just as a start, you can reach me at jordan at fbfaucet.com. Um, Peter, is there a different approach to doing B2B advertising on Facebook versus B2C? Absolutely. Um, the message that you create, if we're looking at Facebook advertising as an example, the message that you're going to create for B2B is going to be a lot different than B2C. Um, so short answer, yes, completely different approach. You need to talk to people doing business to business a little bit differently than business to customer or consumer. Uh, Candice, last question, um, is Facebook safe these days? Well, that's a very interesting question. I guess it depends in what context. If um, you're wondering if it's safe uh, to use Facebook ads, yes, I think that if you're going to be on any social media platforms, it's important to be careful how much about yourself and your business and personal information that you share. Um, but short answer is yes. So I'm going to wrap up with question and answers because I know we're getting to 301 here. I'm going to pop over to the chat box quickly, quickly here. Um, you're so welcome, Lawrence. Uh, and so I'm going to add, just in case you guys need it again, Jordan at fbfaucet.com. Um, I leave it at that. You can find me on Facebook as well. And if you want to private message me, I'm going to welcome that as well. And it's just Jordan Johnson is my full name and you can find me uh, there as well. And I'm happy to reach out uh, and have a conversation on chat too. All right, anything else that I can assist you with today, Roger? Uh, no, on behalf of uh, your audience, I'd like to thank you for sharing your time and your talents and your, uh, your uh, sage guidance, wise thoughts. You are thank so you. welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Uh, it was a pleasure chatting with all of you. Have a fabulous day. Great. Thanks, Jordan. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.